What up guys and welcome back. So very quickly today guys, I'm bringing you a video to show you the new uh, Honda CB5, CB400X that was just released a few months ago. Um, so it's going to be a quick one. I'm just going to do a walk around and talk about a few things. So stay with me. Uh, let me take you to see, see the bike. Yeah, so this is the front view of the bike and um, there are a few differences. It looks very similar to the CB500X and the headlamps are slightly different. They are LEDs as well, but they are slightly different. And I think these are the, yes, these are the uh, sort of daytime running lights. And that's the low beam. Um, and hazard lights. But the turn signals look a little different from the that of the 20, uh, the 500X, I mean. And the 500X share is the same as the 650 and uh, the Africa Twin, but this one is a little different. It looks a little cheaper. And the wheel is 17 inches. And as you can see, it comes with one brake disc. And you've got your ABS there. So 500X is 19 inches and this one is 17 inches. So that's another difference. And it looks to me like the windshield has a slightly uh, different design. It's got its cut out here, which the 500X doesn't have. And it's adjustable as well, just like the 500. Um, and for the most part, the front looks are quite similar. But this beak on the 500 is a little... Uh, Longer is a little outward than the 400. That's another difference. And this one comes pre-installed with the crash guards, original crash guards from the Honda factory. So, and looking at it from the side, it looks very, very similar to the 500X. <laughs> but I just sat on it and it looks, it's much, much lower because of the 17 inch uh, front tire and I believe the forks are, are lower as well and these are some top boxes and panniers from the factory from the Honda factory as well ah, okay. so that's a gray one I'm just gonna it's convenient to stand here to take a photo or a video so as you can see this is how the rear looks with the boxes installed it looks pretty neat so it's got three colors it's got the black it's got this gray and then it's got the red yeah I'll just walk around so you can see how it looks like now the adjuster for the chain is different um, so the 20 the new 500X from 2019 onwards has a different setup and this setup looks like the old CB uh, bikes and that has been brought to the 400X so uh, the, the um, 500X axis adjustment looks more modern but the exhaust is very similar to that of the 500 and on the side it looks very very similar as well so the setup is basically the same so the 500 has a silver color engine block but the um, 400 has a black it's painted black and from the side again and the seat it looks very very similar so up to the front it has all right yes so that's that's the dash it has a different setup as well so the arrangement of these uh, notifications is slightly different here but the TFT screen is basically the same and this one it looks a little a little bit brighter than that on the 500x you got your buttons there to readjust mm. oh. Oh, the 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 K come down. Oh, okay. And it also has a battery 
power indicator and that's pretty cool looks like he's got a few things that a 500 doesn't have and on the right is just standard push start button and you have your headlights and your kill switch and here you have your hazards you put here and pass lights down here and you have your turn signal button and then your horn so pretty standard there nothing really special so I'll just that's about it guys I'll just do a quick walk around of the two colors they have here that's the red and the gray to give you um, a feel of how it looks like and this is how it looks without the crash bars and the boxes so I'll just do a quick walk around so you can see it I'm liking this gray color it looks really really cool and one more thing it looks like the tail lights here are split so you've got one here and one there about I believe they are synced but yes they are uh, divided by this plastic in the middle which looks pretty cool and coming to the chain side it looks very very uh, similar to the 500x the setup is the same things might be a little smaller and a little lower but it's basically uh, the same kind of looks that you find on the 500x the forks are I believe the fork travel is also shorter as well I don't have all the specs but from the look of it it looks like it has a shorter travel let me move on to the red one again so that's the red one that's the front view and that's the side view this one comes with the side boxes and that is a rare view of the red version so I'll just quickly sit on it so you can see how it looks when I'm sitting on it uh, My legs are uh, kind of bent, whereas with the 500 days it should be more stretched out. So this one is is very very comfortable, and you have a, a lot more control, uh, especially when you're sitting at stop lights. But yeah, it looks it looks and feels really really cool. So that's that's how it looks like when you're sitting on it. And if I have my legs on the base, yeah, it fits here really really well. So yeah, it just feels really, really good. And the steering as well, it looks like the old 500X. I think they adopted that one for this new version, whereas the 500 is more uh, kind of, it doesn't have this groove, it's kind of a gentle curve. So that's another difference. Alright guys, so this was just a quick walk around of the new 2021 Honda CB400X. Um, so this was just a quick walk around. I'll find, I'll try to arrange to get a test bike uh, to bring you a riding review of this bike. So till I see you in the next video guys, ride me go, ride safe and peace. Oh. Oh,